hey what's up guys in this video we're going to talk about css overflow property so the overflow property is used to specify what happened to the content that is overflown outside of an area like an example we have the div and inside the div we have the paragraph now from inside the style tag we can select the div and we can assign some height of 100 pixel and also we're gonna add some border of one pixel solid red and you can see the content is well fitted inside that area but if we increase some more content and you can see now the content is overflown outside of that area now we can use the overflow property and we can control how that overflown content will be visible inside the web page so the overflow property has four different value it can be visible so which is the default one and the visible property will render the content outside of the area and also we can have the value as hidden so the overflow hidden will hide the content that is overflown outside of that area and you can see the overflown content is hidden and also it can have the value as scroll so the overflow scroll what it will do it will just add one scroll bar to see the content that is overflown outside of the area and also we can have the value as auto so the overflow auto what it will do it will add one scroll bar whenever the content is overflown outside of an area so if the content is well fitted inside the area then there will not be any scroll bar but whenever the content overflown outside of the area then there will be automatically one scroll bar added to see the content that is overflown and also we have the overflow x property so the overflow x property it deals with the content that is overflow in the x direction so in the left side and in the right side and also we have the overflow y property so the overflow y property deals with the content that is overflow in the y direction so in the top and in the bottom of that area so this is the way we can use the overflow property and we can control how the content that is overflown outside of an area will be visible on the web page so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one thank you